Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. So apparently, this is the, the teleporter they mentioned. East. It was closed earlier, that's why I completely forgot that it's there's something there. Makes sense? I hope it does. Look here. An exceptional store of cycl cyclical energies. We need 105 lore for that, and this is the final mural. Rave Town stands in solemn silence, observing the pain-stained wall with an intensity normally reserved for the potential prey. Nearby, Lexim scribbles fiercely with pen and parchment in hand, shaking her head occasionally to maintain her waning focus. The mural before you is of considerable size and detail, stretching to cover a large swath of otherwise unbroken old wool's masonry. In it, at least one moonlike figure adopts a dramatic pose, head arched backwards in mid delivery of a tremendous roar. The creature's claws have hooked through her own ribs, ripping them apart. Blood and viscera spill forth from her chest along with brightly colored pencils. At the base, many crowd spectators are painted in, pe in shadowy tones. The beast woman final breaks from her anxious stare. <laughs> See? Old world ancestors left dire warnings of peace and fate. She raises her claws violently against the looming mural. Scourge beast were born of beast woman invading. We've done first feared corrupting power of mystic strength, but now sees that all abysmen may hold corruption deep inside. Perhaps it's suggesting the bane you kill become a part of you. Maybe. Who would explain curse just the same? Foul scourge be same blood of Riftalan. And so Riftalan healing touch past saint, kin and gift. The sage seizes her scribbling. Reef Town may sadly be right. Her tone grows increasingly bitter as she speaks. Her touch did, of course, strip me of all magical facility, and the bay notoriously fiend for all things magic. Who is to say that th his mural isn't a damn testimony about her kind, kind and their role in the birth of these abominations? Of of course, there are many ways to interpret such vague relics of history. What do you see, Fatebinder? Examine the Beast Woman. The call for twirls pouring from the Beast Woman's wound seems a bit too stylized to be simply blood and viscera. And details such as eyes and talons on the twirls suggest the spurs of color are bane. Whether the Beast Woman is stripping herself open or the bane are exploding out from within her seems open for interpretation. It looks as if the Beast Woman is releasing the bane. She leaves it through a journal and poses momentarily upon a passage. I thought this seemed oddly familiar. Did you know that Beast Men are in the habit of consuming friends and foes alike upon death? Not that there's much left of Bane after a fight, <laughs> granted, but I have observed wound kin occasionally they lapping up scorch essence. Judging by their facial expressions, it was a decision often regretted. No, feel only hatred for scorch beasts. Need to reprint their old was brave and strong in all beast men. Painting doesn't make sense. How can beast woman give birth to pain if hunting pain at the same time? Perhaps this is more akin to display, like the beastman is showing something. A contemplative hum emanates from her chest. What the faint banner says is possible. The painted beastman stands before others at the brim of tribe. Powerful. Even with Buckmeat's rift on must bear pharynx and send tall, quiet, impudent whelps. Examine the crouching figures. Several beastmen have been arranged in line. Heads bent at a downward angle, crouch low on all fours. 
Compared to the beast woman featured prominently in the painting, the remaining figures have been drawn in far less detail. Their facial features have been left entirely blank, complicating their interpretation. Uh, this posture of Bolfer submitting to Alpha, painted beasts, supplicate to painted beast woman. There's far too little detail of, to be certain of that. These figures could be cowering in fear. That certainly would be my reaction if monsters started springing from your entrails. Look at how they are drawn. The beastmen aren't showing their fangs or claws. They aren't being aggressive. Uh, an interesting observation. I'll note it along with the rest of my findings. She purses her lips in mid scribble. The intentions of deceased beastmen artists are difficult to clarify. Hmm, I can't say the, the symmetry caused anything I've seen of the Woodkin, or any records I've come across on the subject. Beastmen do tend to go down fighting. Self-destruction is simply frowned upon the inner kin. Examine the bane. You brush a layer of accumulated dust from the wall to better observe this section. The creatures emerging from the beastwoman's ribcage appear to be flying out and away in a range of directions. Streaks of purple, blue and red paint have been used to form wispy tendrils with hints of claws embedded in the amorphous shapes. Upon closer examination, the claws appear to be broken. Strange shapes must be old was beast. Painting must be a warning from press tribe. Can't see any other reason for confusing etching. Look, the claws and teeth appear broken. This could suggest the Bane have lost their power somehow. Ah, clever observation. I know I'd feel slightly better about birthing harmless Bane in a full-sized monster, if I had to choose. She sits back on her haunches, watching the mural with a curious tilt of the head. <laughs> They by no words are true. All island warriors must have strong fangs and claws to defend tribe. A prima with broken fangs cannot beat clan warriors. Scorch beasts with broken claws is easy prey. Ancestor painting shows important movement moment in old wolves past. Even strongest prima cannot tear open chest and survive. If scorch beasts can burst from this woman's chest. Perhaps even greater dark shadow bird will rise from this town's bones when Beast Woman is dead. The, the image is not reassuring, true, but let's not make any definitive conclusions just yet. Humor me and pretend I'm right, and this mirrors Alex calls. Symbols that teach. Being here in the wound unlocks something in you. What if it's just the start of your power? A sudden jolt shakes the ground as Reeftalon stamps in disapproval. No, Reeftalon can have taken our ancestral brontons. Mystic Strength has already corrupted Rankin, as corrupted Lixin. Beast woman will not risk giving birth to that terrors. Must first know what that deep rumination will not bring of harm to wound. There's also the possibility she's an Archon. No one taught her this magic. By strictest definition, she is manifesting an innate power. An Archon, you think she's... Air? Uh, I suppose it's possible. There are beast Archons. The... Are there beast Archons? I guess there aren't, I to my knowledge, but... <laughs> it's not... Impossible? I mean, I've heard the Argon of Serpents is a giant talking snake, but I've also heard he ch just changes into one. Sage Quillborn speculated there have been beastmen with the Exarch's gift, as it were, uh, of having the potential to be Archons, mm, but brutal competition and lack of training kept them from making it into the Chronicle. Beast on an Argon, I've seen killing Shadow Stripe. What's my Shadow Hunter? Second made of all Shadow Hunters. You must tell no stories of Beast Woman Argon, but does that mean Beast Woman Argon didn't live? That could be what's going on here. Some sort of latent hunt coming to life. 
I find it an odd coincidence that here's where such powers come to light. Uh, if that's true, all the more reason we need to understand this. Enough. We've done styles of being discussed like me. If you're my thing, we've done so powerful. If done will listen, but it'll pop from us wrong in the end. There's more than this painting to inform us. There are others in these depths. Riftal has heard me prattle on about what I've seen, but now we listen to the Fate Painter. Efna, explore the other paintings and tell us what meaning and importance you infer. Riftal, if you hear the Fate Painter, that will be the least last we have press on this matter. Luckily, I've already taken a look at them. She chuffs impatiently. Speak now, quick, quick. Riftal does not want to stay any longer at the wall. What has been but I've seen in all the paint walls? I saw a painting that showed a cross section of the old walls with many different figures entering it. This woman doesn't care about the picture. What meaning did Fate Painter see in a message from ancestors? The old wolves once had many different inhabitants, but only one tribe of them survived. Your ancestors were likely that tribe. The sage's eyes widened, the news grounding her sort of energy. Extraordinary, if true. That would also mean Riftan's ancestor had to have left these old wolves at some point to wander and become the manta born. Perhaps this is a sort of homecoming. She chaffs impatiently. I saw a, pre a representation of the old was being held up by two beastmen. Riftown doesn't understand. What is meant by strange painting? Mm. None of those answers. Seems wrong. <laughs> uh. It seemed... I don't remember that one, that's a problem. It was holding the old walls, but at the bottom I think there were bones. Give me a moment. Um, can I see that one? Oh, of course. Running. I would really love to see that mural. That of course no one posted it anywhere. Okay. Um. Hmm. The beastmen. I th I think they have been stewards of the old wolves, and they've been facing off against the bane for a very long time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it seems to suggest that the Bane and the Beasts were both denizens of the old wolves, each made of similar magics. The sage retrieves a drama from her pocket and quickly thumbs through it. Hmm, good. I did take notes on this one. Your theory potentially matches the details. The Beastmen were drawn with Bane atop them. It does suggest an arcane connection. So, we've done as Mystic Stranger, same thing as Scourge Beast. And Scourge Beast is the same thing as Beast Woman. If what Fate Banner says is true. We've done for silent. She chaffs impatiently. I saw a wall with a plethora of different handprints. Prince, yes, that sounds familiar. Tell me, how did you inter interpret it all? Many of the prints were made with magic, not paint. Beastmen of old wielded incredible powers that probably make your mending rights seem trivial. I thought I was just sleep deprived, but 
I recall seeing some prints that were burnt into the wall without pigment or paint. Your fury has married. The beasts of this old world had magic enough to warp stone. Who knows what powerful magic still has behind for the cups? Look, Rift Talon raises a foot and spreads her toes apart, revealing the thick webbing between them. All oh, beasts know that each tribe has different traits to help claim chosen lands. Shall on the ground as far as dark as midnight. Good for her, seeing, slinking in courtly battle. Mount upon her webs and toes for swift tipsy hunt. She raises her hands, parts facing up. Perhaps power of mending ways came to help one king tame all those beasts. The eight binders words are interesting. Ancient histories and messages left many layers of meaning. They all sent release from flesh to the earth. Reef Talon turns her attention to the beastmen and Bane immortalized in the wall before you. But what does Fate Binder to say of beast woman giving birth to scourge beasts? Reef Talon is creation of dark horror. This is what it looks like. The beastmen and Bane are drawn from the same mystic forces and are inextricably linked. Now, she rakes a mirror wolf a powerful swipe, whipping out chunks of the angel song. If Tom already has radical corrupted one packets with poison touch, if all the world beasts can crawl from flesh of the beastmen, what horror will answer Riftan's corpse? The fur on her back shivers visibly. Isn't it worth another try to better understand your healing magic? I know this is all very confusing, but the wound still needs you. Humans have hammered like mystic lost in endless trance. Riftown knows nothing more about fresh touch. Only that Riftown is a curse, danger at all. The massive beast woman shakes her head, grumbling with discontent. Her gaze keeps shifting from you to Lexine and back again. What you're seeing is a historical record that makes it clear that the Bane's most hatred for are beastmen. That's what the wound needs. She pops her head reluctantly. Fate Binder is correct. We've talent this for all was beastmen. It's destroying clouds, beastmen's thoughts with doubt, but the hunting scourge beast is not. We've talent this best country in all and still has many lessons for dried whelps. Killing all those beasts can't be a bad thing, yes. And decided. She rises to her full height, towering above the sage at her side. This one will return to home to help Gran. Done, ruminating, painting histories of metal vision of past. We've done a lot of further corruption from mystic strength. I had hoped you would come to pass. You mustn't hurry in this foul pit any longer then. Return to the wound and make your presence known. People may fear you, but that will evaporate the moment they realize you are ready to take control of your powers. A pained look comes across her face. I won't be joining you, unfortunately. I can feel my mind decaying with each moment. Soon all this will be but a faded memory. Besides, people won't take kindly to having sleepless shuffling about in the wound, and my presence certainly will help them accept you. That battle must still be won. One will know of such little cult like sin. We with our own and ruminate more by ancient paintings. Perhaps Mrs. Drank can tame even from his corruption. She turns to face you, her eyes wide with ice blue color. Beast woman will climb to surface and face one king again. We look for fight by the unbroad grounds. I have much to contemplate. If you need me, I'll be down here. Another mural? Wait, no. I still wonder... Oh, great. What's the deal with that... 
thing over here. It looks like another boss fight. Which I really don't want to deal with. Veins are nuisance to deal with. Maybe she wants to speak about something else. Sage looks in his eyes, gloss over, she briefly slips out of the moment. But smile of recollection, her sense has come back to the present. Yes, Fate Binder? Um, I am the least fascinating subject I can think of, but if you have questions, you ask. I'm curious about your sleepless condition. As am I! <laughs> it is a curious melody, and one I only partially comprehend. As the name suggests, I haven't known sleep in several span. More troubling for me personally, my magic seems to have faded. I can sign the sigils with my hands, but no magic comes of my efforts. By your own admission, you seem out of source. Are you sure you aren't forgetting your sigils? Even slight deviations can disrupt proper casting. I, I worried it was just that. <laughs> with the lack of sleep, my mind seemed the obvious culprit. I had Mel read my old scrolls and walk me through the motions. Still no avail. I'm signing correctly, but when I tap into the Archons of old, nothing comes out. Your magic. All of it's gone? Lantry's shoulders slump as he shakes his head with a sigh. But you are a phenom, I never would have mastered half my expressions without your guidance. But it's... Oh, gone? Maybe you just need some rest. Maybe that would restore order in your mind. As am I. It is a curious melody. Okay. Uh, but I think we went through that already because we spoke to her. And I'm fairly sure we did go through everything. Um, spell cooldowns. Let's see, what should we give you? Afflictions caused by attacks last longer. Um, once per encounter, when Ebb's health is critical, she causes an explosion of grave light energy around her that drains health from nearby foes. Give me that. <laughs> because she is... Uh, at critical health rather often. Hmm. Wait, we have four of those. Hmm. Quick, quick. Quick, quick. Okay, not that luckily. Um. Fears in shadow understands. Will do. Yeah, I wish I understood. But that's gonna be it for today because we still need to go back. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.